I'm Coach Jamie Dryer from Overhaul Training, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to release trigger points and get healthy length back into a tight pec minor using the Pure Wave, a tennis ball, and a gentle PNF stretch. Your pec minor is located behind the pec major, and it starts off with attachments on the third, fourth, and fifth ribs, and then runs up attaching to the coracoid process of the scapula. The way we start off looking for the trigger points is with the point stick on the Pure Wave, we're gonna go ahead and down by the lower attachments on the rib, you're gonna find two potential spots down there. Once you've located the trigger point, go ahead and turn her up. After you spend about 30 seconds to a minute and a half on the lower section, you're gonna then go up to where the three sections, the three different divisions of the muscle blend together into a tendon. Right at that junction where it goes from muscle to tendon, there you go, I just found mine, is where you're likely to find another set of trigger points. Crank away, have your fun. Another option is also using a tennis ball. And you're essentially just gonna go ahead and press it into the same exact locations that you would with the Pure Wave. Kind of, I'd like to use both hands to get enough pressure and pull the ball into my trigger points and roll it around gently. The best way that I've found to stretch the pec minor when I'm by myself is by using a pull-up bar. I'm gonna take the hand of the side that I'm looking to stretch, grab the pull-up bar, and now I start to sag my body forward. So I'm actually leading with my chest. So that's one end of the muscle, right? So now we need to create space between the two. This is the tricky part, because the other end attaches to your scapula. So in order to do that, as you lean forward, your arm is now starting to pull your scapula back with that little bit of sag, so your body needs to be a bit arched. Now, once you get here, the trick is to feel like you're hollowing out your armpit. By trying to hollow out your armpit, you're actually engaging some of the smaller muscles around your shoulder to pull the scapula down and back. Sometimes that might be good enough for you right there. You can just hang out, I'll hang there, kind of move around my position, take some deep breaths. Or if you want to add a contract, relax portion to this and turn it into a PNF stretch, you're going to gently pull down in front. So you're contracting, trying to pull everything here a little bit more. Hold it for five seconds, then relax and breathe deeply, going a little farther into the stretch. You can repeat that three to five times. If you think you might be experiencing some type of nerve entrapment that's affecting your arm, definitely do what we discussed in this video, but also head over to the videos on the pec major and the scalenes and release those trigger points as well. And then also check out the strengthening exercise for the lower trapezius at the end of that video. I'm Coach Jamie Dreyer, and I'll see you in the next video.